Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Yuovu. He made his first appearance in X-Men Gold, Volume 2, Issue Number 33, in October of 2018. In the Swahili language, his name translates to mean evil, and he's the powerful Kenyan god of death. Having considerable height and build, also having all white eyes with no irises or pupils, a bald head, and gray skin. Now, Yuovu is what the people called a dead walker, he himself claiming to have power over life and death, while clearly exhibiting the power of necromancy, being able to resurrect and control the dead. He also has considerable moderate superhuman strength at his base level, which actually gets stronger with the faith of his followers. We also know that he has considerable superhuman reflexes and vast durability. While in his highest power state shown, he was able to easily brush off lightning strikes from a Stormcaster hammer and powered storm, and overpower the Asgardian enhanced mutant in battle with very little effort. The only weakness Yuovu was shown to have is that if the faith of his followers wanes, or if they're physically taken too far from him, his powers will wane back to his base levels. Now, Yuovu was a being in the Uzuri Kenyan area, whose power began to garner him worship in the region, in the place of Ororo Monroe, aka Storm, who had left long ago. His followers were a violent bunch, and after many years, they began to kill those that refused to denounce Ororo. One of their victims actually being Ororo's foster mother, named Ainet Mwangi. But she didn't succumb to her injuries before she had sent out a quiet oath to the old gods to assist her stepdaughter in becoming a goddess in her time of need. This subtle act awakened the Asgardian hammer named Stormcaster that was across the cosmos in Asgard. It then began its journey towards Earth. Inet would then pass on and her body was stored in secret catacombs beneath the village. This is where all the dead were stored waiting to be revived under Yuovu's control. When Storm became aware of her stepmother Ainette's death, she returned to her native region of Uzuri, and this is when she learned of this new deity, Yuovu. She was very skeptical of this new being and religion, mostly because of, like I said earlier, his name means evil in Swahili. So naturally, she arranged to meet up with him. And despite his somewhat friendly-seeming demeanor, Storm sensed the darkness within him. She even remained suspicious after Yuovu revived her long-dead parents to try to win her over to his side. Her concerns were verified once she came across the catacombs, which she considered a desecration of the dead villagers. When Storm challenged Yuovu about the bodies, he revived them and turned them into his own personal army to attack her. But lucky for Aurora, the Stormcaster Hammer was almost there. It even took a detour by the X-Men and created a portal to teleport them to Uzuri to help Storm. Her teammates then defeated his Deadwalker army and removed the villagers from the area, thus causing Yuovu's power to fade. Even then, it still took all the power of this god-level Storm and all the power of her hammer to destroy Yuovu. Now, due to his powers and abilities and his influence on the Marvel Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Yuovu a rating of 8, which is an unforgettable rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to The New Sage.